encounter at the Queen's Park Oval at Port of Spain against Minos Bermuda, knowing that nothing short of a massacre would keep their hopes alive. India going in with just the one change in their lineup, Harbhajan Singh making way for Anil Kumble. Bermuda relying a lot on the experience of Glamorgan's David Hemp, and it was their captain Irving Romain who actually won the toss, but decided to put India into bat. Again with a swing on the full, wasn't hit, normally likes to hit it. First runs, just a gentle push from Robin Utapa. Will be relieved to get off the mark. Thank good running in the end, picks up three. I think they've got to be prepared to do some hard running, India, because the outfield is still lush, heavy due this morning. Edged and taken, what a catch! That's a stunning catch! Sensational catch, he's celebrating! It's happening, it's happening for Bermuda, lever up the catcher. He's on a lap of honour, where is he? He ain't over there, he's miles away, here he is, the big man, the fridge has opened. He's flown like a gazelle. I can't believe it, a brilliant catch. Boys, you need another nine wickets, the game isn't over. He sets off now, he's on his way. The earth shook, what a catch! Oh, what a catch! The big man, he's off. And we get a dance as well. That should be a wide. Maybe Leverock was running in the direction where his mum's sitting. He was in mid off celebrating. The rest of the team was in mid wicket celebrating. See, but this is going to be a long over. There is so much emotion out there. Terrific catch. Oh, there's a lot going to happen here. Which way should I go? Get out the way. It's all moving again. <laughs> now this is at the other end of the ground, the baller, Malachi Jones. On a lap of honour, they can't catch him. First ball of his spell. And then they squash him. <laughs> Nicely played, good strike from Berenger Sevak. Will get off the mark with a boundary. Eventful over comes to an end. Two overs gone, eight for one. Well, the jewel of the World Cup so far. Bermuda against the might of India. Sehwag just settles his own nerves. Caresses the ball through the offside. Eight for one after two. What an event. Misfield struck nicely, quick outfield. Second boundary for Virendra Sibak to end the over. India 14 for one. So two boundaries for India. Kevin Hurdle way back on the creases. Presents a half volley which Sehwag puts away this is good for Sehwag he's been out of sorts he needs time at the crease he needs to get a score to build his confidence for other matters later on it's just wide lucky for India no second slip lucky for Ganguly and he will still get a boundary well, this is a real good delivery if he caught the last one why has he not caught this Outside edge, straight to second slip, it would have gone. Bermuda opting for one slip and a short extra cover as the catcher. It. It's in the right areas from the 17-year-old. He's blasted that, and that will disappear. That will disappear pretty quickly. Third boundary for Verinda Sebag. He drops short. Not just quick enough at just round about 80 miles an hour to drop that short and wide to Sehwag. 
but anybody would like what they see from a, a young 17 year old opening the ball in. But he's found the gap. Could this be Virendra Sebag's day? The whole of India hopes so. Six overs gone. 33 for one. All his boundaries have come on the offside. Again, the scramble seam. No deviation. He picked the length pretty early. Got into a good position, Sebag. Just strike them really hard. That's a good shot. Because it was well controlled, not over hit. It was gone 40 for one. That's the Verinda Saver we know and love. Beautifully balanced. Just pushing the hands through the line of the ball. And it allows him to see the length quickly. He's balanced, and then he can use those lovely hands. We'll have another look at this. Head still. Lovely balance. He'll pick this delivery's length very quickly, rocks forward onto the back foot, and then it's just a swing of the arms. And it all starts, funnily enough, with sometimes how much you bend your knees in your stance Nelly took out the short extra cover I think it might be the captain Romain he was struck so fiercely yes he had half an eye on trying to stop it and then at the last moment decided evasive action was better sometimes it's just a shot just a shot and you know you're back you know that you're in form they don't come any better than that hit on the up hit fiercely and still <laughs> little rattled you if you even if you were standing at a short cover oh, that's unfortunate Brenda Sewag has played a couple of drives off Jones and quite predictably he's tried to pull his length back so he won't continue to be driven and just drift down the leg side with the short fine leg. It's beautifully played. The player of Sewag's ability, class, call it what you like, he doesn't really have to go looking for the loose ball. He just has to trust himself. Full face of the bat. And he can hit him pretty hard through there. Some problems here for Jones, but Sewag is in good form. The last ball of his over was driven for four. Now three consecutive boundaries in addition to a wide in this over. He's under pressure because he's been driven. He's been nudged down the leg side and now he's been cut. Can he take pace off the ball to say what? Can he change up his pace in order to try to deceive the batsman? He's only young, he's 17. He's up against an experienced campaigner who's looking for form. Brilliant shot. 17 runs off the over. The first power play is complete. 63 for one. Terrific over for Sewag and for India. Catch! No, he let catch that. Not even if he was the height of Joel Garner. It's well struck. Clubbed. Hit really hard. Well, we're in the second segment of power play and only two fielders allowed outside the circle one of them is sweeping offside one is a third man mid off and mid on in position so with the lack of pace on tucker it's a shot that was on 
And there it is. Savak's 50. And he'll feel really good about that. He needs a few more today. But that will bring a lot of relief. That's beautifully played. Look at that shot. He looks in prime touch when he gets going like that. When on song, he's a dangerous batsman. We're in the Sehwag. Super shot. It really is the mood that India needs Sehwag to be in. Particularly with run rates uh, going to be of importance. That was cracked away. Just look at that. That's in there and that's down the ground. Will that go all the way? Yes, it would. Well, that's exactly what I was telling you about. Don't pitch it up to uh, Varinda Sehwag. He is in prime touch. That was a smashed straight down the ground for a big one. Look at that. Pitch it up. And Varinda Sehwag says, thank you very much. I'll take that. that much be close but will there be a call for the third umpire in the, the over oh what a glorious shot this time over extra cover he had the width and this really is Seva song gets the Indian supporters on the feet Second six in the over. Look at that. One back pass about this one out of the off thumb. And look at that. Straight to the deep cover. What a shot. Productive over for the Indians. And we're in the Sehwag. 99 for one. As you could see that Sehwag is uh, certainly looking to try and get the acceleration going. Two sixes. One down the ground, and the other just a little wider, and a wonderful shot. Straight over extra cover for six. His timing getting better and better in this innings. Anything can happen. That's uh, picked away off his leg. That'll go all the way to the boundary as well. Brings up the 100 partnership. 106 for one. So runs coming in all directions now. So they really need to pick the back of the uh, Bermudian bowling. And then the boundaries are going to come much, much regularly. Down the ground, the typical Ganguly shot. Great use of the feet, and that's cleared the ropes. You can't keep him back for long, Ganguly. Well, he was at the receiving end in the last over when he gave a maiden, but look at that shot. Goes down the track and beautifully played. Full face of the bat, getting the leverage, and no problem whatsoever for him to get a big six. Oh, still going. Down the wicket, two men converging. There's no point in converging because the ball's clear at the rope. Yet again from Saro Ganguly. Ganguly moves on to 45. Lots to cheer about today. Wasn't so against Bangladesh. India, well, just entering the tournament, I would say. Absolutely perfect this for Ganguly and Sehwag. Time at the crease. Runs on the board. Important thing, it doesn't get too close to the ball. Only then he can get the free swing of the hands and get the elevation. He's hit it flat. We're in the Sebag. But it's gone the distance, I think. Now signal the boundary. Very, very flat. Immensely powerful Sehwag as he gets down the pitch. Fifty for Ganguly. 
been so very consistent after his comeback. He's done it yet again. Would like to carry on. That's a biggie. And will remain a biggie. What a shot to play when he's in 90. Moves to 96 in style. Well, he will tee off here. Just look at this field, and I don't think that Bermuda at this pace of Kevin Hurdle can defend against Sewag. Sewag moves on to 96 from 72 deliveries. The two outfielders are at third man and point. He's got the leg side to himself. It's yours, it's all yours. Hands are in the air from his teammates and Verinda Sewag as well. His eighth one the international hundred and his first in the World Cup. How important could this be as a run into form for the big games to come? That will feel very, very good. It could make the difference to how India go in this tournament. They need one of their top three to ignite their innings. He's been the man in the past. He's been backed by his captain. Opens up the shoulders. I don't know why. Probably got that right on the bottom. And it's gone. Taking advantage of this final power play here. Use of the bottom hand. Just chipped. He knows exactly what he's doing. That would have been a spectacular catch. Probably on the same page as the one he took early on to this Mesutapa. Doesn't hold on. 29 overs gone, 196 for one. This was it hard, very, very hard. Even though Dwayne Leverov got a hand to it, no chance. Good shot. Really capitalizing now on these power plays. This is the final over of the, the third power play. But it's been tough. They suffered against Sri Lanka and the suffering here against India. We'll have all the running to make a motivated Indian team. The gates are open. Stand and deliver. Call it what you like. Imperious. This should be out. It's gone high. Taken quite comfortably by Malachi Jones. He had his problems bowling his last over, but held his concentration in taking that catch. Right through by Hurdle and Sewag. It's a good catch in the end. Went a long way. Sewag trying to go over mid on. Just a bit early on the shot. Under it well and just grasping on last moment and hurdle yes he's got his man very clever he could have tried to muscle that almost anywhere in the leg side instead ganguly settles for a death touch it's a good shot no ball so he'll get another but just notice how he manipulates the crease he knows that the man's up at third man. He's made room to the offside. Very deft. Again, good use of the feet, and that's gone down for four. So he's just got enough elevation. And give himself the room. Soro Gangul, his eyes lit up once the ball is pitched up. He's such a lovely player of spin bowling goes down the wicket making sure it gets under it and uh, hitting it straight down the ground beautiful shot no real effort getting that boundary that's gone 
Clever bowling by Borden. Saw Ganguly just making the charge a little too early. Gave an indication and uh, slipped it slightly wider. So Ganguly's gone. Clever piece of bowling uh, from Borden. Saw Ganguly making room and trying to hit. But then again, bowling a little bit too wide and uh, simple stumping. So interesting move by India, the new batsman, uh, Yuvraj Singh. It's nicely played through the offside. We'll go down to the boundary. So the placement was very good, just wide of Levrock. Didn't hit it too hard, it was just a mere push. Just take a look at that shot, sweet timing. Beautifully timed and obviously the plate placement was perfect. Yes, sir, so the change of bat certainly has had some effect. Obviously, a heavier bat. The timing was very good. That's wonderfully struck. Very, very firmly down the ground. Plenty of runs in that area once you get past the bowler. But Tony, he certainly can give it a whack. Oh, that was really a Tony special. Just got to the pitch of it. And hammered it away. Big, big six. Because everybody was waiting for this shot from Dhoni. Let's take a look at that shot. Down the wicket and bang. Big one. Huge six. Finally decided to open up his shoulders. What a good shot that is. Another one. This one straight up in the air. Will he get under it? It's a lot of time for it. Great catch! What a fine catch! That was a stunner! Tucker the fielder covered so much ground. A good 15, 20, 25 yards. What a fantastic catch! Oh, the Burbutians delighted. There's so much joy in them. Look at that. Tucker going all the way and uh, very last moment getting under it and uh, taking a fantastic catch. Mahindra Singh Dhoni not timing it well, scooping it up in the air. Not an easy chance, but take a look at that catch. Good shot. We'll get there. Beautifully executed by Yuvraj Singh. Well, it's right in the left-hander's arc. Leverock left arm spin over the wicket. Yuvraj gets enough room to free his arms and swing the ball into that leg side. Another six, seven sixes in the innings. And again, this is flatter. There is a man in the deep, but it's just cleared in. Consecutive sixers for Yuvrat Singh. Such a powerful shot, this. And again, it's a swing of the arms and a full swing of the arms. Picks his bat up really high to play the shot. Straight down the ground this time. What an over. It's turning out to be for India. 18 runs off at 43 overs gone. 307 for four. Gives himself a little bit of room, the little master. He's joining the party as well. Has it gone the distance? One bounce four. Opening the face of the bat. Aerial route, gentle medium pace. This is a big shot from Tendulka. Well, could be 11 off the over. Magnificent strike that. 45 overs gone. 329 for four. Stewards are in danger here at mid-wicket. Sat on the chairs, looking after the crowd here. More stewards than crowd, actually. It's in the air, mid-off. Long off, can't get it. And I think it's just cleared the rope. Six to Tendulka. A terrific shot this is from Tendulka. Examines his uh, cricket bat. Gives himself just a little bit of room outside leg stump. And again this time, he's got the elevation and the distance is a lot longer than the previous one. 11 sixes in this innings. 
Great stuff from India. Sachin examines his bat again. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it at all. Real quality. 27 fours, 11 sixes in the innings. 343 for four. And again, Medvedev has taken a stunner, but he has just gone over the ropes. Well, this is a stunning non-catch. Yuvraj, favouring mid-wicket, has raced on to 50. 53 from 35 deliveries. Clear the man at short mid wicket. Couple of bounces. Yet another boundary. 28th boundary in this innings. Well, that mid wicket boundary is like a magnet to Yuvraj Singh. Gentle medium pace bowling. Medium pace at, at less than 50 miles an hour. He's getting consistent with this. Amazing to watch. I think these sixers with such ease. Well, it is so easy. Long on will be a mere spectator. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable batting by Yuvraj Singh. He's on a roll. One of the best innings that he's ever played. Now it's Tendulkar now. It's gone many a mile into the stands well all you Indian spectators watching this your team are doing fine three eighty four for four I think we've got a world record here Queen's Park Oval Tendulkar at the crease India looking for four hundred record World Cup score Big shot. Hammered. That's nearly on the third tier. You've read Singh. Absolutely on fire. 83 from 45 deliveries. 29 for 16 sixes. We've got a record here. Need another eight runs. India. World record score. In World Cup cricket, he's 3.98. Well, long off. Jones takes a good catch. Nicely taken in the deep. Wasn't the easiest of catches. Levrock will greet a sigh of relief. What an innings from Yuvraj Singh. Magnificent innings comes to an end. This is the end of Yuvraj Singh looking for six. It's a good catch. Malachi Jones pouches one for Bermuda. Yuvraj 83 from 46. Good shot. Excellent shot. It's gone all the way. Tendulkar on 46. India closing in on this record score in World Cup cricket. He's gone for fine leg. And what a way to reach three, 400, 402, and 50 to Tendulkar. Well, that's the fifth time in one day cricket that 400 has been reached. It's been magnificent stroke peg. Tendulkar moves on to 53 from 26 deliveries. He needs to decide to go for the big one. And he does sign off in very good style. Six up to finish the 50th over. 413, India. Well, these boundaries have been peppered today, Queen's Park Oval. 18 sixes, 34s. That's the last one. Last delivery. 50th over. Stewards are still dropping them in the crowd. Dreadful effort. But what fun. For India as a team, all smiles on the faces and for the spectators, Raul Dravid finishes first half of proceedings.
4-1-3 for 5. But in the bat, India scored their highest ever score in 50 over cricket in 50 overs, getting 413 for 5. Saurav Ganguly, 89, and Virendra Sehwag, 114, started the rot up the order. And then Yuvraj Singh and Sachin Tendulkar finished things off in style. Yuvraj getting 83 of just 46 balls, Sachin Tendulkar 57 of 29. India hitting a total of 18 sixes in the inning. Not much to look at as far as the Bermuda bowling was concerned. In fact, even David Hemp, of whom a lot was expected, going for 32 in his two overs. 7 overs for 74 for Jones. And the wicket takers included Borden 2 for 30 and a wicket apiece for Hurdle, Jones and...